Dan Larson here at the photo booth with a video about the photo booth. Uh, I've been using a photo booth to shoot my pictures of action figure photography for years and years and years now. Uh, and I do frequently get asked, what, what, what is the photo booth? How does it work? How do you set one up? What are the pieces to it? What does it look like? Well, this is it. This is it in all its uh, spectacular glory. Uh, I like the sort of look inside the pictures of the infinite white space. I really, my goal when I started action figure photography was to put the focus on the figure. I didn't want any backgrounds or any, you know, I'm all about the sculpt, the paint apps, the posing, all that stuff. It, to me, it's really just about the figures. That's what I've always been drawn to. It's why I've always been a collector. And so when I set up my photo booth, I. I wanted to find out how to get that kind of look where all you're seeing is the focus on the action figure. And see, it's not that it's not that complicated. The, the whole trick to the infinite white background space uh, is just this curve. It's the curvature of the back here. So I'm gonna break down the individual pieces here. We, we had another video that was about a, a previous photo booth, exact same fundamental uh, properties of the booth. The lights in this one are a little different. Uh, we literally just set this one up about two weeks ago uh, at, at our office. I have a similar booth at home for, for uh, just in my own space uh, to take pictures at home. This is the one we set up at our office. So this is a whole brand new setup. Uh, but the, the fundamental principles are, are all exactly the same here. So. What kinds of pieces do you need to set up a photo booth like this? There's there's really only three things you need. One, you need a table. This this here, you've got, uh, this is a, I, did, I should have measured this. This is a, <clears throat> we've got a 48 by roughly 32 inch uh, table surface here that uh, we bought this off of Amazon. <laughs> it's just a, it's a, it's an adjustable height uh, table, you know, one of these uh, desks that can be either a sitting desk or a standing desk, however you want to do it. Um, what I like about it is that it is adjustable. Uh, I have a, 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 an old drawing table at home that I was able to raise up. Uh, that one comes to about here. I brought this one up a little bit uh, higher because I am tall and I like to be able to, I like to be able to stand when I'm working at the photo booth. In fact, I would actually like this a couple inches higher because I still find myself, you know, I want to get down eye level with the action figures. So I still find myself, you know, crouching down a bit or getting a stool and sitting here to do this. Uh, but it's very easy to just throw stuff in the booth and take pictures that way. Uh, that works for me. Um, the nature of the, the way this is set up, it's not really adjustable on the fly. Here there's a up down uh, to, to raise and lower this surface, but we're not gonna change it because of the way this is taped in here. So back to, back to one, you need some kind of table. Doesn't have to be this high, doesn't have to be this big, doesn't have to be this brand, but if you like this one, we'll throw some links down in the description below. So if you wanted to buy the exact same kind, you can. You need a flat surface, you need some kind of paper or poster board or some kind of material. This uh, is just a, what did I say the dimensions of this were? This is the exact same dimension of the tabletop surface here. This is just white craft paper that can be purchased at any craft store. Michael's, Hobby Lobby, anything like that, you know, uh, you probably buy it online. It's going to come in a giant tube though. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it's like eight or 10 bucks a roll. I can usually get three or four redos of the booth out of it, you know, because this is going to pick up scuffs. There's already, uh, the only thing I've shot in here so far was uh, my top 10 of 2022. And, you know, black shoes and stuff tend to leave little scuff marks in the booth. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, people will put drinks down and it just you scratch things, the surface, it picks up dirt. So I'll usually get three or four full redos of the booth out of a roll of paper. Uh, I like to keep it as clean as possible, as white as possible. But, you know, stuff happens, especially at my booth at home. The cats are in the booth laying down. There's cat hair and stuff. But for the most part, once you're taking your pictures, you're not going to be able to see all the little incidentals, you know, push that brightness a little bit, push that contrast a little bit with whatever uh, phone app you're using or Photoshop or whatever. And you can get those things. Uh, most of that stuff will just disappear. So tabletop, roll of paper. I literally, you can see, I just have it taped. It is taped directly to the wall here. Every, right, right outside of frame, it looks horrible. It's, it's wrinkled, it's creased, it's it's stuck to the window here, it's peeling, but none of that matters because all you're seeing is is what's in frame here. So tabletop, uh, roll of paper, tape to the surface here. It's not even really it's not even really that that snug to the surface here. Uh, but that doesn't matter because all, all you're gonna see is uh, the focus is all gonna be on the action figure. And then lights, that's the only other thing you need here. We've got three lights set up. These are the exact same three lights. I do not know off the top of my head. I probably should have checked ahead of time. I don't know off the top of my head what brand these are, but they're just little LED panels. Uh, these do have adjustable uh, knobs for both the intensity of the light 
And then the color, you know, is it going to shift more towards that sort of bluish white light, I'm told, or more towards that softer yellow kind of color? Uh, Greg set this up because he thought this was, you know, the sort of best neutral brightness sort of color to, to bring out the you know, the, the look of the action figures in the booth itself when he's editing it on the other end. So if that works for him, that works for me. We have this top light here on this like adjustable arm attached to the ceiling. You do not have to do that. <laughs> that is not necessary. Uh, these are just super cheap, uh, you know, light stands. Again, you can get those on Amazon. Uh, and uh, the, the lights themselves, I want to say these lights were, don't hold me to this, I want to say they were like $50 a piece. Uh, the arm, I don't know how much this cost. Uh, the stands are super cheap. Uh, the table, I think this was around $150, $200. But again, you don't need all this. Most light boxes that you're going to buy, anything for like eBay light box or whatever, it's going to be the same principle. You're just going to have a box. There's going to be a couple of lights and that's it. So you could recreate this whole thing on a much smaller scale if you wanted to. Uh, or an even bigger scale, you know, like if you're doing fashion photography and you want to set this whole thing up in a giant room, that, that's that's exactly what you're going to have. Curve in the back, bunch of lights. Uh, that's, that's the real important thing. You want to just flood this whole area with lights. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> that's really all there is to the booth. Uh, it, it's... If you're looking to do something other than this, if you're looking to do like moody kind of diorama type of, you know, lighting and that sort of thing, Look somewhere else, because I don't do that kind of photography, so you'll need to go look at 1-6 Shooter, D Amazing, you know, these guys who are taking really complex, well-lit photography, trying to get mood and drama uh, out of those spaces, out of their lighting. I don't do that. So, you know, don't come to me for that stuff. Go to them for that stuff. Uh, but again, you can recreate this very simply with much less expensive, much less complex materials. If, uh, if you just wanted to put something together, like in the corner of your room, in the corner of your office, uh, it wouldn't be a problem. But that's it. This is the the, the spectacular photo booth. It's what I like. I, I don't have any plans to, to move away from this setup. It works best for me. I like the way it looks in photography. I like the way it looks in video. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, color of the paper doesn't matter. If, if you like the white, use the white. I think Robo over at Foosh, uh, obviously he has his blue background. Um, there, uh, there's orange, there's yellow, there's green. You, you, you can get whatever you want. <laughs> You can have a bunch of different colors on hand and, you know, uh, switch them out for the different moods you want uh, or for the different sort of uh, tone you're trying to create for your images. Um, you can get colored filters for your lights. You can get colored lights, uh, all that sort of things. But that's all, again, beyond, beyond what I, I need to do with the booth. So I don't really have any of that stuff at home. And, and I'll probably get it set up here eventually as well. Uh, I've got various flashlights or a bulb over here, bulb over there, UV lights, whatever. If you do want to get some sort of effect occasionally. The problem with the white background is you're going to get uh, anything that has a lot of white on it or chrome, shiny parts, whatever. It is going to sort of get blown out by the white surface, especially if you do up the brightness or the contrast in an app afterward. Uh, so that's where you may want to have a more neutral color in the background, a gray uh, a black, whatever. Sometimes if I have something that I really want to get a good shot of and there's too much white or shiny stuff, I'll put some diorama pieces behind it uh, just to be able to give that uh, the, the color range in general. The brightness comes down so you can see those colors of the figure uh, a little bit better. But that's it. I mean, it's, it's that simple. Uh, hopefully this is an informative video and not too boring. But that's what it is. And you know what? This is a resource for myself here. So when people ask in the future, I can just send them to this. If you have any questions about uh, how to set this up, what, what are these things are, please just ask me in the comments and uh, I will try to respond as much as possible. Uh, like I said, we'll try to throw some links down there uh, if you wanted to buy these pieces exactly. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Later.